What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Got with a kind of off the cuff, I guess you want to say, video. It's basically going over some of these um, comparisons that it's certain individuals in the Xbox extremist community or just the Xbox community in general want to use when they compare the Xbox One X to a video card out in the market today. Needless to say, they don't really use AMD's cars as a comparison for some odd reason. I don't know why, you know, and that would be the best thing to do, but they don't want to do that. So a lot of things I've been seeing out there in the, in the gaming streets is that they're comparing the Xbox One X, even though it's not even out, to a GTX 1070, which is not a good comparison. Actually, I would even use the two to compare. Um, because that 1070 will just outperform it, period. I mean, uh, NVIDIA just, they're better on their drivers and setup and how they even manufacture their cards and design them. They're just, as of right now, they've been known to just do better. Um, just because they, they have deeper wallets and they can do more R&D as opposed to AMD. Uh, so, what these individuals fail to do is that when you're comparing uh, what this console is out in the real world like or out, out out in the pc world you need to use what in this case what amd has out there you can't go from a system as amd built you know to something that's like it's it's it's, it's counterpart is you know in this case it's a nvidia so let's just focus on what amd has to offer out there in the pc specs pc world from what we know of the xbox one x it's supposed to be six teraflops though but is that six teraflops when it's at boost or is that six teraflops already and then it boosts up some higher than that now what i mean by that is this for instance i have a uh, i7 4790k cpu right and the gpu does does, does does similar things like my 980 ti normally when it's doing certain processes for my cpu my cpu is clocked at four gigahertz out of the box right but when i do different computations that would uh, require more power out of it it will overclock or boost clock to 4.3 gigahertz like from 4 gigs to 4.3 it'll vary in between those numbers yes i can physically go in there and overclock it to four and a half or whatever it can i, I can do to my pc crashes but i i, I don't do that because i'm not really into overclocking but my cpu can do these things you know it can um go from four gigs to above that you know what i mean now that being said does that mean that this these uh teraflop settings i guess or whatever is it six teraflops at boost or is it six teraflops set and goes higher than that you know what i mean we have no idea because we can't even really figure it out because it's the console you can't really do any real in-depth benchmarking you know on, on it to, to determine this but let's just say that it's less than that and it can boost up to six teraflops right well as you know or may not know the rx 480 is a 5.8 teraflop card and we're going based on teraflops not ram because that actually plays an, you know uh, a factor as well because the vram used in rx 480 is hbm which is high bandwidth memory and the ram they're using inside of an xbox one x is GDDR, which is as of right now is less than HBM. This houses you know the evolution of RAM. But anyways, so that being said, the graphic card that the Xbox One X is more or less using is a 480. It's just probably slightly overclocked. I mean, it's called what it is. It's 0 0.2 teraflops higher than what the 480 is currently, right? The 580, last I checked, I think it was uh, 5. No, no, 6.1. You know, which is not that much different. You know what I mean? It's not that big of a change. It's more like a reskin of a 480 or repackaged version of it, basically. So when they want to say it's more like a 1070, it's completely invalid because a 1060 can outperform a 480. It's just NVIDIA just kind of has their crap down when it comes to some of these um, uh, 
car designs they got. They, they got these drivers right, and they just know how to just design a better car. Granted, it costs more, but they can design a better car. A lot of things is that when it comes to AMD, their stuff looks good on paper, but when it goes to actual performance, it kind of fails against its, against its, um, its rival. You know, I don't know what it is exactly, why it fails like that, you know, because it's just lack of R&D or they're just trying to do things in a brute force way and it's just not really working, you know what I mean? So, also, they, a lot of these individuals fail to realize that a ten, um, the new Vega cars that came out, the Vega 56 is actually targeting the 1070 crowd. So you mean to tell me that this now this console has a equivalence of RX? Uh, I'm not RX. It has a Vega 56 card inside of it. Is equivalent to that now? It's like every time something new comes off of AMD, now it's compared to that. You know, um, it, it's just so misconstrued and like not true. It's like, look, this is what is more comparable to, which is the 480. Nothing above that, and nothing really. Well, I can say it below, but nothing. You know, nothing above that. This system has a car that's comparable to a 480 in it that's it not a 1070 not really a 1060 either because nvidia has no tech inside this box you know what i mean so let's keep it 100 and stick to aim what amd has to offer and don't worry because there's a video i want to do based on this pro having this supposed uh vega rapid through is a rpb or where the hell it is all of a sudden, I don't know, some of this stuff that comes out from these sites and these individuals, even on the Sony side, kind of gives you, you know, as a PC guy, some, a guy that plays games on PC and a tech, it kind of it'll make your head spin. Let's put it that way. It's like every day, whatever something's new, supposedly it has it now, all of a sudden, or some form of it. I don't know. I'm going on a little tangent on there. But anyways, uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. You know, am I wrong for using AMD tech that they have currently to compare to what the console Xbox One X is going to have. I mean, it makes more sense, right? Versus using its rivals parts to say it's, it's comparable to that. That doesn't make any sense, you know what I mean? And the tech sense. But anyways, I'm Jay Got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.